what is going on boys and girls of youtube we're back at it today the buff this god series we're, we're you know we're staring support in the eye today and when you look at support cerberus or kazimbo who who needs a buff like the other ones i'm not talking about yorm like yorm's a solo laner already was a solo laner that's why i'm not looking at them as buffing as support i feel like kazimbo with the amount of cc and displacement he has can't be played solo but he's he's a support he plays so cool as a support i'm gonna block for you and be in your face i'm gonna spam and be annoying but i'm not gonna do too much right so i picked kazimbo today not cerberus i think cerberus you're gonna look at buffing his damage rather than other things it's just gonna be a problem whereas kazimbo i think there's a bunch of different ways to kind of tweak what he could possibly do and make him more relevant so we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna get into this. Hit the like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Stop trolling me. And, uh, when I say stop trolling, I literally mean I know you're not sub. Like all of you that are subbed are like, yeah, we can shut the, you know, shut up. Everyone else sub. Kazimbo, we're going Sentinels. I want to be super, super tanky. I want to do some return damage, so I am going to look at getting a, a Thorns at some point. I don't know when that will be, you know, like, like, I don't know what I'm worried about upgrading and everything, but we're going to look at getting Thorns at some point. And to start off with, we're just going to go right into a Gauntlet. I was thinking about go, going Mannequins 1, because you can get a lot of stats off of that, but I think we're all right with this. So this is the start. Pull up the ping, so I know we're good here. And the thing with Kazimbo is Kazimbo is really good for a while. His three had a high damage when you push somebody through the creeps so you could like you uh, even as a support you could blink push somebody through all the creeps and it would do like 70 percent of their hp it was crazy they, you can't do that anymore it still does some damage but it's nowhere near as much and the real issue i come down to is the fact that your one can be blocked so if you're not playing against someone who is, like, is, if the person has any brain power at all functioning the support on the enemy team he's gonna block your one it's never gonna full hit the creeps Greetings ever to you so you won't have any clear similar to sylvanas um Ymir even Ganesh Kepri like these gods that hit the whole wave very easily with no effort you can't match with them so I feel like they need to do something to make that not the problem not a problem for Kazimbo or just make it so the three hits creeps harder maybe or something the thing is this will trickle effect into other roles and into the soul and stuff so that's an issue you might also just end up looking at how you can make the character tankier or buff teammates around him or you know give him a hard cc something see if these guys oh we're gonna walk in here. we can hit three here that'd be sick she gonna kill here nice play from uh some from valence my uh is it Oh, wait, we're about to scoop this guy, too. Ah, we got his beads. So you see how much damage I just did with my three? That's the nerfed amount. Like, that's a very reduced amount. Now that we have wave control, we can kind of control this. It's nice. Basically, with Kazimbo 2, is having a high clear god like Izanami is really valuable. Where if you're Ymir or Sylvanas, you can play the low clear uh, hunters, ADCs, whatever, and get away with it. You don't rely on your picks too much. With gods like Kazimbo, you're ahead. Just, you're just so worried about everything. Like, your clear is a problem. Will you live if they catch you off guard? Are you actually going to be able to CC? Sometimes a push isn't enough CC because you just get turned on. It's, it's, there's a lot of, of potential issues that come up. This guy can't move. I'm going to level my two here and hope they hit me. There it is. We're good. He's still level one. We have so much control. Looks like my mid lane is having a good mid lane as well. I'd say one thing that can help at all levels of the game is pressure pressure comes from clearing and that ability to fight those two things kind of inhale hand in hand uh in my opinion so if you do want to play a weak god or you want to fix a weak god that's in the support role or in a certain role you usually can look at clearing outside of jungle pretty much you can look at clearing as being the main thing you want to you want to fix that's why i mentioned the one you know gets blocked it doesn't really clear so is there something else you can do can they make it so you pass through creeps could they make it so that one, if you want somebody and three them, they, they're CC'd in, in a play? I don't know. There's, they need to find some way to make it a little a little better than it is. We're looking for an invade here because of the pressure we have. They should clear fast with Ymir, yeah. They clear real fast. We'll just go get ours. We're, we're very healthy and in a good spot right now. He has one multi-potion left. And he's only one lifesteal item. He's going into Gilded Arrow. So I, I like the, the fact that we have aggression without him having to, to rely on sustain is massive. 
No, oh, don't want to miss an HP. I'm going to level the three here instead of the one because the one keeps getting blocked and it looks like we'll be fighting a lot. And I am very, very close to having my Gauntlet of Thebes too, which is sick. I don't know where the Vulcan is. Man, it's just gone. Enemy missing. Whenever you have a lot of free time like this, the team's just sitting on the tower. You don't want to sit on the tower and try to poke them back. You want to come over here and get oracles every single chance you get and not just waste your time. Always get the neutral farm control as much of the game as you can. And I'm just slow clearing this since we have the totem or the scepter. I keep calling it the totem. And we rotate back. Now, I have my item now, so we could have one more fight and I'd be fine with that. I like Riley or Valence just going for the wave here. Be careful, right? I don't know what's going on right now. He's trying to do too much. They're backing up a little bit. You can tell they're hesitant because we might hit five off this wave. And if we hit five off the wave, they're here. They're screwed. What is this? I'm just being very aggressive. I'm, I'm just not worried about this. We're super close to level four, five. If you get one creep, I hit five. Yeah, we're good here. I want to push back, but I don't have enough mana, unfortunate. We're good. We're outside of the range. We didn't have Riley going in either, so my ult was a little overkill there. I could have held it. It would have been smarter to hold it. The mana consumption, the fact that it's 100 mana to ult, that's also, like, little things like that are, are really, really bad. Like, that should not be the case. Oh, I didn't want to last at that. I did want to take this, though. Oh, Riley, Riley, Riley. Ooh, he's crazy. Valence is crazy. Alright, don't let a thieves online. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna double ward here. I don't recommend always double warding like this because you do have your poopoo -poo ward that you can throw down. But I want to go get aggressive wards up because we have a lot of control on the map. We have a lot of um, lane, you know, pressure, and I want to be able to keep that up by having deep aggressive wards so people can keep fighting and know where everybody is. So that's why I want to double ward. I'm gonna try to get one around red or maybe around the red entrance. Uh, in the lane up here and then if Riley's being pressured I might put another one on his side otherwise I'm going to try to get one on this side of the map that top left side just to have mirror wards on both sides group up. Enemies in the left jungle. getting him to group up here I'm going to clear this real fast his, his anomaly's clear is so good yeah. I last at that again <laughs> I keep getting these last hits I don't want that's rough Nice, there we go. Those are I'm not getting those last hits. I'm coming, I'm coming. That's my bad. Don't let me last hit this, please. Nice. Wait, did I last hit that too? Greetings to you. I think we're getting a lot of last hits we don't want. Enemy missing. Be careful. Left. I'm gonna go be aggressive. Oh, that was sick! Oh, that was a beautiful play for my mid laner. That was sick. I got you, dude. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Nice. Connor AS69. I love my late night gamers, man. The late night people I get in matches are so much cooler and more fun to play with than a lot of these uh, daytime gamers. <laughs> he said, you see that pool? I'll never do that again. <laughs> it's funny. I'm not leaving lane. Like, them playing up there is really bad. We know my mid just backed. Yeah, that's, I'm just oom. Um, I couldn't go over there and be useful, so I chose to get the wave. I don't know if we'll get this, but I'll try. I'm just so low mana. If I can spam both my abilities, yeah. We're just going to get out. It's too risky to be here. Let him have the red. It's way too risky to be here. We're going to control the scepter as much as we can. Is he looking for the altar? I didn't get that deep. Oh, he's still here. Uh, he's very scared. Got one of those deeper wards out that I wanted. Yes. But I did not ward the left like I should have. I talked about it and then completely forgot that I had the wards. <laughs> I completely forgot that was the whole plan here. Do need to make sure I'm, I'm splitting a little bit of lanes, especially right now is very valuable to get that Gauntlet of Thebes stacked up. Notice I'm not last hitting. I want to get the extra gold. That basically doubling your gold is ridiculous. Well met. Well met. And we're good. We can get the scepter as well real quick. About halfway through my stacks to the eight minute mark. This is a close game. Five to three. 
I have two kills because of his sick pool. Let's take split one more wave with them and I'm backing. Enemy missing. He can go get right. You should be good to get that. That guy knows. So I want to go for some cooldown here. Where I don't always recommend this. I just really, really want to have cooldown into this game, into this match. Um I think I'm gonna go greedy on the cooldown though and go breastplate. Usually this would be a damage potential slot, which would be a little bit more greedy, I guess, but breastplate's expensive. Uh you could go spirit, you could go into a magic like Genji's or something, but I'm not worried. They do have a lot of magic damage, but they do have a lot of fizz too. So I'm looking at going breastplate, then maybe some magic, and then maybe a spectral armor, which will double up as a Baka counter and then Mercury crit counter for the, the physical defense plus the anti-crit. I think there's a second anti-crit item in the game and I can't remember what it is. I'm like pretty confident there's two anti-crit items now, right? And I'm not remembering which they are. Well, that's unfortunate. Nice. What a great... What? Right, we're going to pressure this guy out. He got his beads, which is great. How my humblest apologies. Curses. My humblest apologies. I think my game sound might be loud because I've been playing some Tarkov lately, so I, I cranked that sound up. Uh, still got my ward up. Riley should be okay for a little bit. I'm going to try to get over this team fight. I'm going to stop focusing on Riley's lane. I think he's good. And uh, try to be around the boys whenever they need me. Oh, this could be good if he walks to me. Yeah, yeah, gang. Well done, young one. Be careful. Nice, good play. We can kill this guy too. It'd be nice if I mid walked over here. Oh, good, good one from the the dude. Oh, it's such a bad fight now. My mid, if he was there when they were like full committed to us, that would have been better. I don't know why he went into melee range though. Nice, that's a kill. That's a kill. Come on. Come on. Yes, good job, boys. And we already have Breastplate online. We're really far ahead of where we should be. Now that I mention it, I remember them putting in a second anti-crit item, but I don't remember what it was. Was it a magical item? Did they not, did they change that up? Now, I'm, I'm literally so confused now that I started talking about it. Because I remember it was like a big thing for a little bit. Maybe I'm trolling. Or maybe it was a glyph. I'm just, I'm so lost right now. Lost in the sauce. Hmm. I'll figure it out. You guys will tell me in the comments for sure. If it ever went through or something. It just, it feels like I'm in a living in a different universe now that I thought about it. And I can't remember what came of that. Thanks. Uh, leveling up the ult here. I'm going to go a damage item this game. I just don't know what. Nice play. Huge. Massive. Control this. I like having in this game, like sometimes I don't mind my ADC taking the scepter, but he full clears the wave. So that scepter has no real value for him. For me, I can look for weird invades and, and try to get like back camps and stuff that you wouldn't normally go for. All right, that's a free pyro. It's not what we want to see. Getting that, that pathing ward right here that I was talking about. Um, can we fight mid? I just popped my two on accident. I don't really know how I did that. Oh, new ult. Got the dash. We're good. We're good. Can't move. We body block, baby. He's going to get out right here. Oh, nice. Okay. I'm not going to lie. My mid missed this two twice when I was pushing. If he was a little bit more patient, it would have been fine. It never would have happened. We're in a good spot though. Mercury alt down. We still worry about Baka and Baka's on the other side of the map. We don't even have our gauntlet fully stacked. A sob here will be really valuable if I'm going to stay around the boys. Honestly, I could just go sob heart ward uh, and then damage. Between those two items, I would make my teammates very, very tanky. Very, very tanky. They have a high damage comp with low front line. So that's probably the idea I go for here. Oh, we're done stacking finally. I'm not upgrading this. I am going to build into some defense now. I think I'm going to the soft now. Uh, we'll, get, we'll work on this soft. 
Should be done pretty quickly. It's a cheap, such a cheap item. We're going to go heart ward and we're going to upgrade our heart ward to get extra magic Please. defense off of that. I think I'll be unkillable against their team comp with this build. And then I upgraded thorns to return damage. I might, I said I was going to go soul reaver, but if you didn't know, thorns is magic damage. So when it's reflecting damage, it's reflecting magic damage. If you don't have pen, it isn't going to do as much. You're going to do less damage because you don't have pen. You should, he could have just stood right in front of this guy. He is so fast. Get body block so easy by just face checking like this. Look, you can't move. Come on. Anybody here? Anybody? CC, knock him up. Something. I don't want. I gotta keep peeling. I gotta focus on the boys. Nice job in mid. Let's fire giant. Oh, quick, 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 quick. He leaves. He leaves already. This is actually good. Nice job. Was that a mantle that just parked? I'm on it. Okay. All right. So as a t support, I'm just gonna sit here and get vision. I'm tanking the fire. Walking behind. I'm gonna hold this while they kill him. Maybe. Nah, 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 we're dropping. Janisalt's gonna come in, so this is a bad fight now. It should be a free kill on Vulcan, though. Nice. Good play, boys. Very good play. I don't have Scepter anymore, but I'm gonna try to clear this. Having Mystical Mail would be good early, but it just would be super dumb to do that. Like, it would be no, no value to mirror the team. This Sovereignty should be big value for the boys. I need to make sure I don't get too, like, into diving. Because I can do a little bit of damage. Like, you can see the Mercury. I can lock him down and kind of do some damage. But I don't do enough to kill him. So my goal should be engage, push some people around, and then get back to my boys. Give them the auras. And keep them alive. Oh, I should make them very tanky. See, I already have 260 physical defense. Once I get this heart ward, my magic defense is going to spike. It's going to be big time spiking. This Mercury's farming. So heart ward and then damage or heart ward and then spectral. I see the Mercury over there. Yeah, he, I got you. I got ult. I got uh, the shell. We should be okay. Kill this guy, really. Good dodge, dude. That was a really good dodge. Oh, no. This sucks. Where's our team? <laughs> that sucks. That was a good juke from, from Valence on that Mercury ult. I like that a lot. We're getting our thorns online. I wish we were doing something right now. Uh, on the other side of the map, but really there's no pyro. He just inted. That was super strange. No reason for him to do that. Okay. Most Erlang Shuns play like this, though. They go this exact build, and then they're a little unsure of how to play the game. That He's going to go full damage out of this and just kind of feed. He's a low CC god these days, so you have to have Magi's. You guys are at the tier 2. We were nowhere near the tier 2. He said we were at the tier two. We are literally right. I was where the tier one is. Okay. <laughs> Regardless, you weren't there. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> All right, get this clear going. We're good. I want to get the heart ward online so that Vulcan doesn't do any damage because I am just heavy stacked physical defense. I'm very heavy stacked. Yeah, I would love if they just had a ward over there. The pyro, so we should be okay. Oh my gosh, he burns this. I need to be able to step out if the Vulcan comes. Oh, that's good. Oh, Riley's in. 
I can't get two Riley back up. Retreat. Good play from Riley. Looks like there's just a Janus portal for that guy to get out. Oh, Merc's there very low. Very, very, very low. Hopefully Riley's okay. Nope. That sucks. That really sucks. If he'd have gone around to the lane and left, he would have lived. It was because he walked into that turret right when Mercury came through the portal. I don't know why our jungler wasn't at Gold Fury, unless he was still dead. Oh, they'll probably push right. We got some pressure out. He just did this. Oh, is he going to the other one? I don't think he's going to back here. I think he's looking for more farm. Oh. All right, unfortunate that oh, I couldn't get to him with the ult. Really wanted to get to him. He should wall me here and just keep me here to be annoying. I don't know why he's not. Right, we're good. This guy's boom. We're wasting a lot. We're good. We'll be sick if my team followed up some damage, but we know that's not going to happen. I've ate like three walls here. This guy's very low. wild that we can't do any damage here there's no follow-up nice there we go boys huge 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 huge, huge, huge. Good, good play good play great play from the gamer he's got a slow for him okay let's go we'll fire i'm gonna tank this for the boys should be everyone's dead yeah this should be free nice huge Great play for everybody. I'm surprised that fight went like that. They let them, the Ymir just kind of cast me forever. It was crazy. Nice job. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We're super close to being able to upgrade to our Sentinels, our upgraded Sentinels as well. That's the thing as a support, getting actives and stuff on top of just normal Kuzimbo, like Kuzimbo is a struggle bus. You see, I'm getting locked down like crazy. Partially because my team isn't fully around. We haven't really fully grouped to, to have follow up, but you get CC just trained a lot and you're not too big of a threat with your two so it's kind of it's kind of hard to get away with things as a kizumbo where other got other supports with leaps or dashes or like horus who has double dash you can get away with a lot with those characters i got a little bit of magic defense now which yes. is good that fight i think went heavily in our favor because janice was boom definitely uh sick to see us win a fight This guy is so out of position right now. Good there, Vulcan ult. It's fine, you're okay. Coming Riley, good ult. Riley got his beads, Aegis, I think. And he... Yeah, he's good. I'm gonna take that kill. I'm just gonna secure it. Attack right lane. Okay. I'll defend. Solo should go defend, not not our jungler. Our jungler is just whack. Our jungler is gonna lose the one v one. Jungler hard loses that one v one. That's why I don't like this. We're taking forever to group. We need the waves. We have no. Uh, we don't have enhanced fire, so pushing like this is really stupid to be trying to take this. It's just taking forever. He lost over half his health, so now we can't even go for this. Attack middle lane. Our long's dead. Our Erlong is just not the person you send back there. It's Cthulhu, even though he's very squishy, or he's pretty squishy. He's under level two, but he's definitely going to live longer than our Erlong Shen. I hate it. I feel like I should be able to do more with how much presence, I like uh, map presence I've had. I've been everywhere and I've kind of been running at them the best I could, but it, I'm just not doing enough. I'm barely, I feel like I'm barely ahead of Ymir. I do a lot more gold than him though. Pushing this is going to be difficult. Come here. Attack. I'm Baka. He's dead. Nice. Now I'm going to go make sure no Vulcan ults coming over the wall. We go mid. We go mid here. We go mid here because we have a pick. 
And we can get this last tower before uh, fire is gone. Is our Janus portal away? This is very tanky. Retreat. There's no value here. Retreat. No value in forcing more of a fight is is kind of what I see in this situation. Just don't get anything out of it. Um, we are massive massive right now i just finished two major items you see i'm getting 58 stacks from my uh <laughs> from my amulet of the stronghold um i am cap fizz and almost cap magical defense and i have 3800 hp so i could go pretty much whatever i want here and win the game uh, i'll probably go damage and i'll probably go pen I think. Um, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I'll go ob shard or if I'll try to get a rod, but I feel like I want pen. For the shell, the two combo. This guy just trolled super hard. And he's dead. I don't know what he was thinking. The Bach isn't playing weird. He's super W King and then like overly W King in a lot of situations. Group up. Attack left lane. Oh, our mid should have hit that wave. If he pushes out that wave once, uh, they don't have the ability to just split. And with Mercury and Bakke, they can kind of split whenever they want. Yeah. Attack, fire giant. I will ward. We need wards. Where are you going to ward, Riley? He's going to ward up. I'm going to ward fire. I got a ward here. Nice. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get some, some damage next. I'm cap defense. 24 minutes cap both defenses. Can you use some more cooldown too? A little bit of cooldown wouldn't hurt. I could go a staff of Mirrodin, get pen, cooldown, and power. That might be uh, might be spicy. This guy's gonna dash him. This guy doesn't do any damage to me. Come on, buddy. Having fun? Oh, that was a good cripple to keep me from moving. Interesting stun there, to say the least. We're not grouped yet. I'm fine. I'm just not taking damage. Root him? Oh, if he hits that root. If he hits that root, that's beautiful. We gotta get out now. Retreat. We lost our jungler and we lost our solo. Solo. I don't know how our jungler died because Baka had an ulti. There was a lot like just left out there. No, I got his beads though. Merc beads. I My mid follows up off of my ult. That's a kill. Sucks to suck though, I guess. Good peel, Riley. Valen's just hitting him with everything he can to keep him back. Nice. It's really good. So I'm gonna get a little bit of damage here. I like the idea of going that the staff. The staff of Mirrodin? It's pretty solid stats. I think that's what we'll do. We'll go for this. We'll see how it plays out. Might be really bad, but might be sick. I don't know. I haven't run it on Kazimbo ever. I don't know the last time I actually ran damage Kazimbo, to be honest. Do -do -do. Gold fires up. This is gonna, eh, not an ants yet. We're like 26 minutes in. Nice kill. You're probably dead though. Massive overcommitment in my eyes. Vulcan all dead. They're so low. Oh my gosh. That's unfortunate. Nice. Valence, get in there. If Valence can get a little bit deeper into that fight, he can take over. I'm not there, boys. I'm running. I'm running. I wish Kazimbo did more for you all. Oh, uh, overcommitment. He just got CC'd. He didn't have beads. And I think he ran into a Ymir stun. No! No! Four kills in a row. Yeah, our mid is just watching those fights. It's super weird. First, I'm gonna shut you down. Then I'm gonna take a tower. Then I'm gonna win this game. Okay, this guy's crazy. He's really fast. Your middle tower is under attack. He backed. 
He is super fast. Serrated, Golden Blade, Wind Demon. Yeah, he's he's got like a like a ADC build ish with double movement, so he's zooming around the map. It's hard to stick to him. Mid Guardian would be good this game too. If I didn't want the cooldown, Mid Guardian would have been sick this game. Yes, we do. That's why I got one. I'm gonna take blue here so I have the cooldown. The fire giant. It just took me forever. Level 20, finally. Almost have my item, which is good. How did they get that, dude? Nice. This could be them throwing, though. Which would be sick. I'm gonna try to peel here the best I can. Looks like Riley's kind of slamming. I walked into that Riley. Oh well. Attack middle lane. We just go mid here. Go mid, boys. Group up. Vulcan didn't clear the creeps, which is really good for us. Come here, buddy. Riley, it's a slow. We're in a glorious spot. I got very low there. That was scary. It's taking a little bit of Damahe. And he's low, and we're in right. Excellent. We're getting trolled. Oh, uh, did Riley just get caught lazy backing? I don't know how they caught up to him with his dash over the wall. And win. <laughs> Literally, like, what the fuck? Alright. Good here. They have a lot of pen now, so even though I've max defense pretty much, they, they're slamming. Literally free Phoenix. Yeah, he's right. It was completely free Phoenix and my okay. Why are we over here? Group as five. Hello. You all are doing the craziest, just the most. Trying to give up my auras over the wall, but. All right. Well, that's probably a loss. I don't really know what else we could do here. So we turn this into a win and our mid either DC'd or rage quit. I'm not sure. That was a sick, <laughs> that was a sick wall to be honest. I don't think I would have caught him because he was so fast. Oh, that's so frustrating. We lost because our solo jungle didn't listen to a call and then our mid DC. No world will you guys ever, ever ca catch a Janus who's full CDR. He's moving faster than you just off of his passive uh, off of the three spam. And the fact that his portals are up forever and his ult's going to be up over and over again. It's it's impossible. It, it's impossible to catch him. So just listen. Look at this. I out damaged my solo and my jungler. And I did not build damage. My last item that I just finished was damage. I was already capped defense. So, yes. That is why I would love to see Kazimbo uh, act like this, this is not a good example, I guess. But I think Kazimbo should definitely be buffed. Hope you guys liked the game. If you did, hit the like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Watch Worlds. Watch all. I'm going to have content dropping. Be vlogging at Worlds. So watch it. Hope you guys like it. And I'll see you in the video later tomorrow, the next day, the next day, the next day, and the next day.